The first step I have is a little complicated. First I make two portals, one leading to the other. After I do that, I try to name one. However, the name is too long for the portal to display, so it just says something like player versus P. Well obviously we don't want that. We can fix this using some hologram trickery that I came up with, and we can even customize the portal a bit. First, place a hologram on the block below. Notice how I'm clicking right under the block to edit. Then, after that, type what you want the message to say. After you have that, type the AND symbol, and then a code character, for example L, and you want to do that twice. That bumps the little icon or the little hologram up to where you want it. And now you have your own custom portal. And it works! Be careful though, if you use the AND symbol trick and delete all visible text, a glitch appears where you can't interact with the hologram. As far as I know there's no fix to this other than restarting the house or crashing it to roll it back. As you can see, the hologram appears to be gone, but when I click on it with another hologram, it displays a message in the bottom right, or the bottom left saying you already have a hologram here. Next up, we have the troll portal. This looks identical to a real portal, but it doesn't work and doesn't take up the portal count. So you can have 12 real portals and you can still add this. All you have to do is put an app hologram on the top. Use an M-frame, then copy the star from the description. It's down in the description of the video. You can also look up star icon. I forgot to put it at first, so I start typing the message I wanted to say. Simple as that. Then you just delete the remaining text. Maybe you could put a teleport pad after that to more parkour. And as you can see, they look exactly the same. In fact, I don't think there's a difference to them. They both use an armor stand, which means the hologram is in the exact same location, so it is 100% impossible to tell the difference between the two. Have you ever wanted more text with a welcome message? Well, you can't type more than aloud, but I have the next best thing. Create a region that, when entered, displays a welcome ma message. Here's the sample tile I created. Then, create an exit for the region and make it an action bar. And then after this, you'll have a subtitle for your subtitle. Now, I can show what the name is, who made it, and another thing under. Don't want to waste the region after a teleport pad? Simply place an action pad on top of the teleport pad by looking at the edge of the adjacent block. Adjacent block, I can't say adjacent. Then, just do whatever action you want. Normally when you have floating pads, they'll despawn when you update them. But for some reason this one doesn't. Another thing you can do, if you're at spawn or you're spawning into a world, you can place the spawn, or you can set the spawn of the world, one block up from the ground. Then, on the ground, you can place an action pad and you're guaranteed to land on it. You can even do stuff like killing the player. 
before we continue, this video is sponsored by Foxbox. Wait, you've never heard of Foxbox? It's the best automated hidden system. Throw away those cheap wooden signs that say, don't jump on the slime block, and add one of these fancy machines instead. Yours for only, um... Wait, am I not- am I allowed to make money off of... Mine- Minecraft? Hang on. No? Oh. Um, uh, I, I guess it's, it's, it's free. Hmm. I, I was so proud of it. Dang. Now, I'll show you how to make a neat trap for PvP houses. First, create the pistons that will hold up the blocks. Keep in mind that these are not barriers, but red wool. You don't need to use red wool, but I'm just using it to demonstrate. Second, hook them up with the input of your choice, and then create a region on the red wool that kills the player. And you can even leave an action that when you leave the region, it will say something like, haha, you died to the trap, or whatever. And since your body kind of just lays in the trap, it won't activate until you respawn. For this next one, you can get more lines in your hologram. Well, you need two holograms, but if you place one two blocks higher than the other, you can create a seamless wall of text. I'll speed it up here, but just be careful on which one you're editing because they're a little inconsistent on top of each other. Okay, this one is really simple. It's a small title. All you have to do is add the AND symbol and a code like the letter L. And I'm gonna do that right here. As you can see, the text was big with the traditional title, but if I add at L or AND L, and then I can add a subtitle, it will not show the main title and will just show the subtitle. It tricks the game into thinking something is there, but nothing is shown. And finally, here's a bonus. It's not part of the new update, but it's very interesting. The first two jumps are possible in 1.8, but not possible in 1.9 or higher. But all of the ones after are possible in 1.9, but not in 1.8. I'm not going to explain every single jump since it's quite easy to see what they are, um, so I'll be quiet until the end of the video. Um, I will say at the end of this footage, I forgot to add one more, it's just a little water jump, that's why that's cut. But um, yeah, that's just about it. Thank you everyone for watching.